Hello everyone, I'm the Crumulant Archer, welcome to a new game of RimWorld. It's gonna be basically not modded, I got a couple of things turned on. Prepare carefully because we need it for the beginning. Camera Plus is just so I can take some pretty screenshots for, you know, thumbnail purposes. Color-coded mood bars do nothing other than just give you a little visual symbol there. We are going to start a new colony. This is going to be Naked Brutality. However, we're going to go into the setting editor here and make it even a little bit harder by changing us from new arrivals to new tribe. It means we have a debuff on our ability to do research. It's going to be a lot slower. Good old Randy Random. We'll go with Losing is Fun because, you know, that's, uh, it's fun. It's right there in the name. Losing is Fun. Let's do, let's go with a title that fits the, ga the game we're playing here. We'll go with nothing for our world seed. I always like to uh, increase our the size to be the l smaller of the large size. I just always think it's more fun to have a slightly bigger map. We're gonna go with this spot. Boreal forest, small hills, a little bit of growing zone, a little chilly. We're close-ish to a place that um, will sell things to us, so that's good. Also some f other things a little further away if we wanna get fancy with it. All right, here's our character. Little Mr. Archer here. <laughs> I've given him Basic passion and everything. He's got a couple of minor skills, but nothing too fancy. Everything else is at zero. He's iron willed. He's a jogger. He's kind. Iron willed and a jogger are kind of powerful traits. Kind is just kind of neutral, but I think it'll be all right. We're going to go with this. This is Mr. Archer. Yeah, let's get in there. Poor fella got mugged. Somebody took all of his stuff, stripped him naked, tossed him out in the wilderness. Tough day. Tough day to be a little Mr. Archer. He doesn't know anything. He has no idea how to take care of himself. So let's, uh, let's see if we can figure it out. Looking around a little bit. I think, was, this is the anima, anima tree? Yeah, anima tree. So we're gonna try to not build in this zone, but uh, we'll see. We might not be able to handle that. Cause I think we're gonna live over here. This, this ground right here is uh, is fertile soil, so it'll grow crops faster. So I think maybe we'll set up in this little canyon area to begin with. Oh, that's probably an ancient danger. I love me some ancient danger. Um, yeah, we'll set up in this little canyon area so that we can take advantage of that. The other place I was thinking of is over here. There's fertile soil over here, but I don't like being too close to the edge of the map. I feel like that's always just asking for trouble. So let's not do that. Let's stay here. All right, so. Let's get a rolling. We need to... Uh, we don't really need these yet because we uh, don't have any stuff. But let's come down here. It's nice that we landed in the bog, so I'm sure we get to start with... Yep, the soaking wet debuff right away. <laughs> Always great. At least he's got, he's got all these passions, so he'll have passion for his work at basically doing anything, which is great. Alright, our first little home is basically ready. He's putting the roof up right now. I put down a crafting spot and a butcher spot, and he was trying to build a campfire, but looks like he failed. <laughs> the poor guy's not good at this stuff yet, so cut him a little slack, guys. Come on. The poor guy is also naked, so that's something we're gonna have to deal with pretty quickly. But first, we're gonna need to make like a a club to um, kill some stuff with, like raccoons and things. Got some berries right here. Let's go ahead and harvest those. Poor guy's gonna get hungry here pretty soon. Stop relaxing socially, man. You got you got work to do. Chop, chop. Almost literally, because it's trees that you're cutting down. He's gonna have to deal with unhappy nudity for a while. I don't imagine we're gonna have the materials to do anything about it for eh, a sizable amount of time. Hey, there's a little granite urn over here. Let's pick that up. Let's put that in our own area. That'll uh, add a little bit of beauty, right? Beauty, beauty, where is it? Yeah, five. It's just, you know, not a lot of beauty, but it's better than nothing. Prettier than you. Got him. Fox just killed that raccoon, which is actually helpful for us. Um, let me also clear out these though, because they made home zones by trying to get that stuff. So yeah, so we can uh, we can steal this raccoon. Hopefully get some a little bit of food and a little bit of uh, hide out of it. Once this guy's done sleeping, lazy bum. Ooh, there's a table in here too. Man, we're getting really lucky with just the random junk we can rescue. Also, somebody just crashed. Hello, Jackie. Jackie the ballerina, who has some bleeds. Chemical interest 
Nimble. Space Refugee. See, now here we've got an interesting situation. I don't think we're going to take this person. She's actually pretty good. Her melee skill is very good. But I think we might just steal her clothes and let her die. And let, hear me out. Hear me out. I know that sounds horrible, but hear me out. Chemical interest. One of the plans I have for this colony long term is to make, to grow drugs in order to make money like you do. And chemical interest really messes with that because they have a tendency to just start taking the drugs. Sort of, you know, the, <laughs> the way a, a drug addict might. <laughs> So I think we're just going to let her die. We're going to take her clothes, which is going to be great, because he's naked right now. And then we're going to let her uh, bleed to death. I feel a little guilty. Not going to lie. Not guilty enough to not do it. But it's just a little, it's just, it's just a little it's a touch guilty. All right. Put these clothes on. Man, I did not think we were going to get clear of the unhappy nudity bu debuff this early on. All right, I've gotten some berries and I've gotten some meat, which should let us make some pemmican, which is a nice shelf stable piece of a uh, bit of food. All right, pemmican acquired. You know what, don't eat that right now. Can you make any more? No. You can eat that stuff. Eat that stuff raw if you want, want food. We'll leave the pemmican until you're actually starving to death. We need a stool. So that we can get rid of the eight without a table debuff, which is, you know, a war crime. Eating without a table. A little cloud watching this morning. It's fine. I laid out a couple of fields, so hopefully he'll get started on that soon. Right, unfortunately, he's going to blow out these couple of bits of heel root while he's planting. Which is, you know, not the greatest. He might get one heel root out of it. Chances are he's going to destroy it because he's not a very good, uh, very good planter yet. All right, starting to starve, so I gotta let him eat the pemmican we got here, which is was not a lot of food, but it was it was something. Where's the food? Yeah, it filled him up most of the way. We got some crops in the ground, which I feel good about. Well, one thing we can do here is we can get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Let's get some blocks. Fertile ground's nice. This these some of these rice plants are already at like 20% growth. So quick, so quick, so so speedy. We got some limestone blocks here. Let's use take advantage of them to, uh, oh, hang on. In a second. I don't know if we're gonna have enough for this, but we're gonna do that. Another transport pod crash. Hello, you, O'Connell. This is your stuff. You got even better stuff. Well, one, you got a parka, which will be psychically deaf, lazy. Good miner, good constructor, good melee. You belong to a different group though, so we could get a little bit of, the chances of you joining us is somewhat low. So let's just strip your clothes and <laughs> leave you to the wolves. I'm not this heartless, I promise. <laughs> just circumstances, man, circumstances. Goodbye, O'Connell. Um, can you, you know what, wear this. I don't want you to wear it long term, but I just want you to wear it. Neither of these are actually in any good shape, so let's just haul this. Oh man, I'll just leave the patch leather pants out there. This synth thread shirt might be worth something, even if it's in bad shape. The only reason I'm bringing it home. Is our rice coming up? 44%, 39%. That is not not a great growth. It was booming so long, so great earlier. Just seems to have slowed down, slowed down for some reason. I suppose I could deconstruct these. They're gonna be out of the way soon anyway, so. Here, man. Just do this so you don't have to walk all the way around. Oh, there's other berries to be harvested. He's gonna get stressed out by the dead body. But, you know, it, it happens. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes there's a dead body. Haven't you ever seen, uh... Stand by me. Alright, we got the little bit of ex extension going here to the home. I'm going to put these guys down, although I'm not sure we actually have the, the materials for them. Reason for that being is that I would kind of like to, to clear out, make this a little bit more square. All right, whenever he gets up to the point where he actually has the skill, I'm gonna ask him to make a short bow, but it's gonna be a little bit because he doesn't have much in the way of crafting skill just yet. Oh man, mining is so slow when you have this low skill. <laughs> so slow. Three times speed and this is the tick. Oh, so slow. Oh, 
We have a slaver caravan coming. Hello, caravan. I definitely don't have enough money to, to uh, do anything with you, but maybe we can sell you this crappy shirt we got. Hello, slavers. Nope, you don't want you don't want my crappy shirt. It's too bad. Yeah. And I have no money, so goodbye, slavers. Oh, you know what we need, recreation wise? Yeah, hoopstone. Whenever he gets a second. We're gonna need some steel soon. So we're gonna need to think about excavating that somewhere, but his mining skill right now is so slow, I don't want him to do it. That's that's just a jerk move right there. Come in and eat your fancy meal right in front of this guy who's starving to death. We are up to level one already, so that's good. Yeah, there's starvation. I figured starvation was a coming. Ooh, they left us a gift. Silver. They felt sorry for us. I <laughs> said, so here's some money, buddy. Sorry about that. You look like you could use it. It's not something you would expect from slavers. A little more kind than you'd expect from all slavers. So I guess if we're gonna increase our our uh, crafting skill, we're gonna need to make like probably a handful of clubs because there's really nothing else we can do to up our crafting skill. First harvest of rice is on this tier. So this is crafting, right? Yes. Gotta get to crafting too so we can make a bow. Bow hunting opens up some options when it comes to uh, actually hunting food. That's not gonna get us there, huh? Okay. Some more clubs set. Don't have any more wood though. All right, let's, uh, let's cut down some more trees. Probably tomorrow, maybe the end of the day, we'll have our first rice harvest. Not tomorrow, then by the end of... Not today, by the end of tomorrow. Oh, no, rice is coming in. Okay, nice. Look at that. Eat some raw rice, why not? I'm sure that won't make you sick at all. Better rice harvest than I thought we were going to get, actually. Making an actual meal. It might be an entirely meal of rice, but it is a real meal. Which is quite, quite the uh, coup. Alright, we got Sean the Sheriff here, who is completely naked. Hard worker, brawler, kind. Good melee, art, social. I think I might let this guy go too. I still don't think we're quite in the realm of being able to bring on somebody else yet. I feel a little bit bad about leaving him behind, but it is what it is. Alright, a little bit more rice is ready. Eh, probably not much. What, three pieces? Yeah. Psychic Soothe? Don't mind if I do. I think it was getting attacked. Where's that? Over here. Got a dead squirrel. Let's get that squirrel. I don't know if we'll get really anything out of this, but <laughs> let's see what we can do with this squirrel. Um, can you actually just go straight here? If we can get enough for another, like, a little bit of pemmican, that'd be great. I think that might be enough, actually. Make pemmican out of that. Yeah, look at that. Make just a touch of pemmican. We are emergency food if we run out of other food. No, you don't get to carry that on you. You drop that. That's that's not food you get to carry around, my friends. You know what? Let's go ahead and smooth the floors in here. I don't know how long, how quickly he'll be able to get this done. This construction level is decent. Let's smooth the floors. Let's make this place a little bit prettier. We're doing okay for the moment. Fox is killing another squirrel for us. See if this will work out until he's done. Sometimes they eat the whole thing, I think. This mess that it makes is the reason I usually like to keep butcher spots outside. The early on, it's uh, it's not something I want to do. Dude keeps trying to steal pemmican. Gotta stop him from stealing the pemmican. It's our emergency food. Not not for food for right now. Get this rice inside or somebody else eats it. All right, I'm wondering if asking him to smooth the floors right now is maybe not the best use of our time. It's kind of a slow process and he is getting, um, you know, XP out of it, but still. You come get, get this at least. 
want our this one bit of herbal medicine we have to go to go to waste. You know what I want to get out of the way, actually. Come here, you. Come stand here real quick. Wah. Ancient danger. Yeah. That's a problem for later. <laughs> just just checking on it. I love me some ancient danger. They're dangerous, as the name might imply, but they're uh, they're fun to deal with. We're actually gonna cancel most of this. We'll let him do a little bit more. I think we have to do as slow as he is on mining. We need to do this for for uh, metal because we need to start building some things that require metal. I'll just let him smooth a little bit of the room. You know what I need to do? Now that I stop and think about it, I was just thinking to myself, Randy hasn't thrown a... hasn't thrown a raid at us yet. We should probably prepare for the day that he does. <laughs> Be the responsible thing to do. Some basic snap traps usually do the job for the first raid. Expanding the growing food zones over here a little bit. So we have a little bit more. Psychic Soothe is over. So much for easy street. Let's make me more clubs. We're going clubbing. So the sleeping in the middle of the day. I guess you're not getting that great of sleep because you're sleeping in a thing on the floor. But yeah, we're getting there. It's moving along, you know? Things have actually gone better than I expected right at the beginning. Finding those clothes was a huge deal. We would have been spending a lot more, investing a lot more effort in trying to find clothes if we hadn't gotten these clothes. So that is cool. All right, I think we're going to relieve this run here. Hope you had a good time. Um, if you did, hit that like button. Helps out a great deal. Consider subscribing if you want to see more in the future. I hope you like this new style. I know I don't usually do a lot of edited stuff, but I wanted to give it a try for the series. See how it goes. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much.